hi guys and welcome back to my channel i hope this video finds you well if you're new here hey welcome i'm candice so today i filmed a get to know me video i basically put out a ask me anything poll questions whatever you call it on instagram you guys sent in your questions this was kind of well over a month now, sorry, but I'm just getting around to filming it for you guys. So hopefully after this video you get to know me just a little bit more and if you're new here this is the perfect video, perfect introduction to me. Also of course explained how I created this look. If there's anything that I neglected to mention in terms of the products that I'm using or the tools that I'm using, you can find all those details down below. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Enjoy! You guys know the vibes, grab a beverage, grab a snack, and let's get into some makeup. Okay, so just so you guys know what's on my face currently, I did my skincare like a couple of hours ago. So I just rehydrated my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And then I don't normally go in with eye cream, but I've really been loving this one from Pharmacy. This is the Wake Up Honey Eye Cream. I was sent this in PR, so thank you so much, Pharmacy. And then for my brows, same thing as normal, I've concealed with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut. For my actual brows, I've gone in with the Makeup by Mario Master Hold Brow Gel. This is my third one. I love this stuff so much. This is the Huda Beauty Micro Shape Brow Pencil in the shade rich brown and i've just gone in with this more so towards the tails of my brows and so now i'm basically going to go in with this bobby brown skin corrector stick in the shade very deep bisque now that i've put that all over my face i'm just going to use this peaches and cream pc18 brush to blend it out so the first question is favorite primer now it really just depends on what you're looking for from your primer right now i've really been loving the charlotte tilbury magic cream it is on the pricier side but it's just so nice like it makes such a beautiful base for foundation everything lays so beautifully on top and i can tell the difference between this and a lot of my other moisturizer primer sort of skincare makeup hybrid primers in terms of primer that's that i use when i'm actually going out and that's actually gonna like grip my makeup i love my milk hydro grip honestly i've been using it for years so I personally really love that primer to actually um, act as a tacky base for my makeup to adhere to. I have combination skin, so I have an oily T-zone. On my T-zone, when I'm going out, I actually like to go in with a mattifying primer and concentrate that here and here. And I normally use the Fenty Beauty True Matte Primer. So I think there's three. There's like a hydrating version. And then there's one that is like sort of creamy and then there's one that is white. I get the white one because that is what is really going to mattify my skin. I also tried the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer the other day. And I really liked that. And I like how it held up. However, I wasn't outside with it. I did a wear test inside. Very quickly, you guys know that I got the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation in shade 20 in last time. But in hindsight, it was far too dark and orange for me. So I have got the shade 19C here c means a cool undertone i'm hoping that this matches me better than the 20n pumped out one pump because that's what i needed for my whole face last time i've got my f4 makeup by mario brush here again spread that foundation and work it into the bristles of the brush Okay, this looks like a much better match to me. I'm not too sure how it's coming up on camera. This is one side without the foundation and this is with the foundation and I think this is a much better match. And it's not really coming up cool on my skin. Like it doesn't look cool, it looks slightly warm. Okay, so the next three questions are quite similar. Um, it's just about what inspired me to get into makeup, how did I get into makeup, and at what point did my passion for makeup come alive? There's two answers to this. Um, so there's obviously how did I get into content creating, and then there's what got me into makeup, period. I'm gonna answer the latter. So from a young age, I was... I was always a girly girl, like I loved dolls, I loved um, the colour pink, <laughs> I loved matching like my bobbles to my dresses and things like that, and wearing like matching clothes and sets. I had like lots of like Barbie dolls and like 
actual like baby Annabelle baby born dolls brats um and little heads where you could like do makeup and um do like hair so I've always been interested in beauty like when my parents would go to the post office I don't know if that's what it's called like globally I don't think so but the post office here in the UK is essentially where you send and receive parcels and you can pay bills and do other things and oftentimes it doubles as like an off license there would be like a magazine section and I'm not even gonna lie, I was very spoiled. I still am. Um, so I would just ask my parents, every time that they went to the post office, they knew you had to buy me a magazine. And I'd literally buy the magazines um, to read them, of course, but for the little makeup that you'd get in it. The little plastic jars or like tubs of like glitter vaseline or like poor quality lip gloss and these like metallic eyeshadows that's where it all started for me and yeah then i started wearing like a full face of makeup when i was in high school and that used to cause problems between me and my mum because my mum's like a a natural babe and she just felt like i didn't need it especially for school but thank god i did because the girlies that started wearing makeup in high school you know by now your makeup is 10 out of 10 because you've had years of practice and that it didn't matter how late i was gonna be it didn't matter how early i had to wake up every day full face from like year 10 and year 11 even during exam season there were a couple of days where i didn't but <laughs> like you wouldn't catch me without a face and now i'm about to go in with the two face born this way concealer in the shade coco I don't know why I'm glitching like that. Um, <laughs> but I'm actually just gonna rub this into the palm of my hand to warm it up before I actually put it onto my face. What I'm doing is literally just taking the applicator and doing this. This is the Makeup by Mario F1 brush. <laughs> and I'm literally just gonna do this. Now to answer the second part of that question with regards to content creating, my content creation journey started in lockdown um, amidst the pandemic um as did a lot of other people's content creation journey yeah i just realized that if you had one source of income if your job was dependent on an industry being up and running and then you know um being open for business then i realized that you were absolutely yeah you you would not that you were done for but you were definitely compromised basically and the one people that were still obviously making money and were fine were content creators why because their work wasn't dependent on anything being open because they're self-employed and their work is online. So I was just like, Candice, what can you monetize or what can you attempt to monetize? Kind of just made sense for me to go into makeup because makeup was something that I really enjoyed. It's something that I was good at, even though when I look back at my makeup, jump scare, we've come a, a far way, praise God. It just made sense for me to try to monetize that and also like a lot of people were inside watching content as well so it was the best time and here we are you know three years later somewhat and god is good this side and use that to sort of attempt to contour my nose but you guys know that i go in with powder anyway and i like to put this in the front of my brows like this i've just mixed these two rare beauty blushes together in the shade joy and lucky i basically use two parts of joy and one part lucky you've created this color so this is the peaches and cream pc 15 brush why don't i do makeup on others <laughs> hmm. i don't do makeup on others because i i just don't like it i've done it before and i just don't particularly enjoy the process doing makeup on yourself and then doing makeup on others is one thing it's entirely different and it requires so much more. That to me is just far too much pressure. I just feel like with me, I'm very nitpicky. I nitpick at my own content all the time. There's so many times where you guys just won't see looks from me because see looks from me. Ah, do you get it? Because my, my name is see looks. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> you won't see looks from me because, because I just don't like it. And I can only imagine that I'd be far worse if I started taking clients and was an actual makeup artist. I just, yeah, no, it's not for me. I'm sorry, it's not for me. And there's just like little things, like I was doing makeup on someone and she just kept doing this. <laughs> 
and it was driving me mad so like things like that or people eating i'm nah i'm just i'm not with it but i always get dms so i'm flattered you guys really think i'm that good you would want me to do your makeup oh my gosh <laughs> yeah but <laughs> there's so many other makeup artists out there i'm not one of them sorry so i'm gonna go in with this anastasia beverly hills magic touch concealer in the shade 14. how do you maintain such authenticity in a non-inclusive space i'm a firm believer that being anything else other than yourself is a waste of who you are i think it's a waste of who you are and the personality that you've been blessed with and just you there is no one like you there may be various people that exist in the same space as you and you might feel like it's crowded. So like, for example, there's a lot of people in the influencing sphere and space and there's a lot of creators and there's a lot of makeup creators, but there is only one you. I am the niche. I just feel like if you stay true to who you are and you just be yourself and you show up as yourself and put in all the effort and everything, your tribe will find you. Your supporters will find you. Those people that are there and loyal and your your fan base and your supporter base, they will find you. I'm just going to spread out that concealer with this. And yeah, that's really it. I don't really think too much about it. I just, I'm me. I know that that might not be attractive to everyone, but I'm not trying to be for everyone. I am not for everyone. And I'm, I don't care to be for everyone. I am me. In the end, the truth prevails and you staying true to yourself is what is going to get you far that's all i can really say i'm going to use my hourglass finish concealer brush to blend that out and how did you start getting uh, pr and brand deals do you know what i don't try like i didn't reach out to anyone there's once when i reached out to one brand and they were airing me so i was like yeah i'm never doing that again and then i ended up on their pr list anyway so full circle everything works out in the end i didn't really try like i just posted I just posted and there's like certain brands that I appreciate and, and use more than others and I just use their products and then eventually as you grow and your videos gain more traction brands will start to recognize you and I can't lie how much followers you have and how much engagement you have and your reach really does matter the bigger the creator that you are the more you will um attract brands or PR agencies that want to work with you or send you PR and gift you things. This is a business and so it only makes sense that brands gift creators that are that have visibility and that are being seen. You can reach out to brands, you can you know pitch yourself to brands and stuff and hope that they get you on PR but I feel like if you just organically support a brand and include them in your content they will see it especially if you're tagging them as well, especially in the hashtags too. So on the post, in the caption and in the hashtags, using the hashtag that the brand uses or the name of the brand, they will see you. Going back in with my blush brush, how do you feel about your makeup journey so far? I feel as though my makeup journey is reflective of the effort I've been able to put into it. My content creation journey and my makeup journey has been parallel to my time at university, like my undergrad degree. When you monetize something that you love, there's always a danger that you're going to lose the passion and the love for that in chasing likes, notoriety, brand deals, PR, things like that. So at times I have like a, a, a love-hate relationship. I still love makeup but sometimes content creating can be exhausting especially when you're putting a lot of time, effort, money into what you're doing whether that be in the actual products that you're buying and investing in or your setup or your editing um, software, things like that. There's so much that goes into content creation. I'm not gonna sit here and make it seem like, oh, you know, it's, it's extremely strenuous, but it does require a lot. Oh yeah, not gonna lie, sometimes I don't feel the best about it because it's long and you have to be in it for the long run. Like, But yeah, I wanna really push with it and see how far this can go. Fair Beauty Loose Powder in the shade Banana Bread and my LH Cosmetics Powder Puff. By the way, guys, look at my nails. My, look at this finger. It's always this little crooked pinky of mine. She ate that. She ate that. I feel like I've sort of answered this question. Someone said, what does makeup mean to you? When did you first start pursuing it? Makeup is something that I truly enjoy. It's therapy. It is a confidence booster. It is art. It is truly beautiful. I have such an appreciation for makeup. 
yeah, I just, I love it so much. You know that sound on TikTok where it's like, oh, I love being a woman. I love being a woman. Like, I love, even though makeup isn't exclusive to women or only for women, um, I just love how it makes me feel. And I love the process. Like, there's nothing like doing your makeup and the satisfaction of it coming out the way that you want it to and your face being laid. Nothing like it. You guys have seen me set my face a billion times over. So I just realized it took off some of the coverage here. I'll probably just cover this with some foundation powder. That's what I normally do. I'm just gonna do the same process all over my face and come back to save some time. Looking a little ashy. Um, I'm just going in with this NARS bronzer. This is a matte bronzer in the shade Karumba. Gorgeous color. It's quite close to Fenty Cocoa Morty, which you guys know I love. Going in with this Patrick Ta Full Contour 2 brush, but I'm using this end. I just love this brush. The way it hugs the face. Current favorite makeup brands. Do you know what it is? I have a lot of makeup and I use like different products from different brands, if that makes sense. So I feel like it's better to say what are my favorite products and I'll probably do a video on that soon. But I love Charlotte Tilbury. I also really like One Size right now, One Size have a few of their products and I'm enjoying Patrick Ta. I'm gonna try more of their products. Fenty Beauty, been loving Fenty Beauty. Milk Makeup. Yeah, those are the brands that are really doing it for me right now and have been doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nas, can't forget Nas. Favorite perfume brands. Now listen, if you were asking my mother this question, you would be in the right place with the right person, but I'm not a heavy like perfume girl. Like I am a makeup girl. I do like perfume, don't get it twisted, but I don't have like an expansive collection because I feel like I know what I want to smell like and I know the scents that I sort of gravitate towards. I can say I really am loving the KRD fragrances. I know that they have like a Yum Pistachio one that came out a while ago, but I have like four perfumes from KRD and I really, really love them. I have Vanilla and then I have Vanilla Royale. And then I also have Juicy Eden Apple or Eden Juicy Apple. I can't remember what it's called. And then I also have Love Fest Burning Cherry and I love them all. Anything that is like warm, sweet, fruity, right up my street. I don't mind a bit of floral. I do know there's a few that I do want to try and I have some on my wish list, but they're a little expensive, you know? The Creed, the MFK, Aqua de Palma, you know, expensive. I used to find facts. I worked for an agency for a bit in perfume but i actually had to stop doing that because i realized that as much as i love perfume i cannot be around perfume for like eight hour nine hour shifts especially in like closed spaces or places with like poor ventilation um and the ceilings up were like proper low and they were like don't worry you get used to it no babe i feel like i'm gonna throw up and my head is spinning and you want me to get used to this i rebuke it <laughs> Kosas Cloud Set Powder in the shade Softly and I've used that to contour my nose. Yeah, there will be a video on TikTok, a tutorial on TikTok, but I've used the Patrick's Half Full Contour 3 brush. I will not put this down. It's made my life so much easier. I'm now gonna go in with the PCO8 Peaches and Cream brush and I'm basically just gonna use this to set my foundation because I haven't yet done that. And this is a light set. Like this doesn't have much coverage to it, which is actually why I like it because it allows the foundation to shine through. Um, but if you do need more coverage, just go in with a foundation powder. That's what I'd normally do. I'm going in with this Makeup by Ariel X Morphe A32 brush. And I'm going in with this Patrick Ta Cream and Powder Blush Duo in the shade She's Vibrant. You guys have seen me use this here before. Gorgeous colour. So I've just applied the blush and it looks so, so pretty. But I want it to blend even more. So I'm going to mid-tone blush. I haven't done this in a while. So I'm basically going to take the same powder that we just used. The same blush powder that we just used. I mix it with my under eye powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 2 Medium. And you basically take equal parts of both. So dip this brush, the Makeup by Ariel X Morphe A22, 
dip this brush into both powders to get like a lighter shade because I do not have a lighter shade. If you could be an animal for 24 hours what, without dying, what would you be? I think I'd be some sort of bird just because I don't know what bird travels globally though. I was gonna say a pigeon. <laughs> I was gonna say a pigeon because pigeons are everywhere, but no. <laughs> I don't think pigeons migrate or anything. An albatross, maybe? Listen, I'm not a bird. I'm not a bird babe, so I don't know what I'm talking about really. Some sort of bird. Um just so that I could see the world from like bird's eye view for real. And just see all the beauty that the world has to offer. I was supposed to do a year abroad with my degree, so my degree would have been four years rather than three and my third year would have been the year abroad and I'd come back and do my final year here in, in, in London. I was supposed to do that but because of the uncertainty of the pandemic I just didn't want to be halfway around the world away from my family and in the middle of a pandemic and god forbid anything happened so I decided to stay and now I'm sort of regretting it because I was like I really want to travel and that would have been such a lovely experience but by god's grace God will, you know, bless me with the opportunities and the ability to travel. Maybe through this, maybe through, you know, other opportunities. But yeah, I'd love to travel. So I think I'd be a bird, some sort of bird. I don't know what bird travels globally and goes everywhere, but I'd be some sort of bird. I just basically went in with the Makeup by Ariel X Morphe sponge and I added the cream part of this duo over here. I hope you guys can see the difference. People said they want you to come to Ed Lena. I know who wrote this. I love you. <laughs> um, I would love to go to Ed Lena. Ed Lena. Ed Lena. Ed Lena. I feel it's like Toronto, it's like Toronto. You don't even be pronouncing the T's. Um, I would love to go to Atlanta. I feel like that's where all all the people are. <laughs> Um, and I'd love to go, I feel like, even though America's slightly mad right now. Everywhere's mad, like the austerity that's growing in this country, the fascism. Eh. Let me not even begin. So everywhere is mad, but there's just like a lot of politics going around the whole world, I feel. Um, but I'd love to go to America. I'd love to go to Atlanta. LA, Atlanta, California, um, <laughs> Brooklyn, New York. Oh. Don't play with her. <laughs> just to sort of mesh my makeup in, I just used a little bit of this Patrick Tar Dewy Milk Mist. I love this stuff. It's like crack. And then I'm just fanning with my Patrick Tar Fed. I know that you guys have seen the Renaissance tour has begun. <sighs> no, it honestly has really hurt my chest that I'm not going to see Beyonce. Oh well, there should be Act 2, Act 3. She's not retired any soon. I, I, God forbid. God actually forbid. I'm seeing the people in Sweden sitting down, watching her like it's an opera. Don't even get me mad. <laughs> I don't want to do too much, but I just wanted to do... Fend me off. I'm hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. What? <sighs> I've got to see this woman in my lifetime, honestly. I feel like she's what you call timeless. She is what you call a timeless artist and has had so many errors. It's crazy. Like, I literally grew up watching this woman. I have to see her in this life. I'm just going over with my Jordana Tisha Nude Divinity Palette. You will never need another nude neutrals palette ever again, especially if you're a makeup artist. Cannot recommend this enough. I'm literally going to go in with this A11 brush, Makeup by Ariel X Morphe. And then I'm going in with the shade here, Crescent. And we're keeping it quite low and we're doing like a wing shape so we're following the shape of my eye like so yeah okay thank you what's your degree in so my degree is in comparative literature comparative literature is an opportunity to study a bunch of different texts from varying social historic contexts different authorial like author perspectives different formats and genres different geographical like contexts it's not like english literature English literature, you're literally just stuck with the same old white dudes. Um, and nothing's wrong with that. It doesn't mean that they're not brilliant authors. It just means that it just lacks diversity and range. And I feel like 
comparative literature really gives you that so i would recommend comparative literature because the amount of things that i've that i've studied while studying this whilst i was studying that degree is crazy i've done psychology i've done ethics i've done philosophy i've done sexuality i've done civilization i've done so much so much you're not just restricted to like just stories and like i said do you know what i mean i love reading and i love discourse and i just love all that it's taught me and how it's informed my perspective and if you know me i always i always campaign for people reading because there's just so much to be learnt so much to read that can really enrich your perspective of life and how you perceive things and just you as a person and enable your growth literature is amazing i sound like a nerd i know but i love it and i can't recommend it enough there is 110 percent a book a genre an author out there for you you just have to find it i'm now going to go in with this a20 brush i'm going to take this shade here temperance it's like a deeper neutral brown How have you been how's life after graduation how's life after uni nothing's changed it's the absolute ghetto I'm still figuring out things. I'm still trying to find balance and a routine. I feel honestly very lost without the routine, the structure, the order that um, you assimilate into over the course of 15 years. You're so used to it. And it just feels like you have the rug pulled from underneath your feet. It is not cute. It is not nice and I actually am looking forward to going back and furthering my studies because then I will have something to to like structure my life around do you know what I mean but eventually I'm gonna have to find some structure without it because I cannot be out here just studying for the rest of my life you know it reminds me of that one character I forgot her name you guys have watched girlfriends and she's one of the main girls she's kind of like she's not a hippie but i don't know she's hippie-esque something she's kind of like a hippie i forgot her name and this babe is always collecting degrees because she's <laughs> she's running away from adulting and life yeah i don't want to end up like her i'm then gonna go in with this shade here iris a black brown as i believe is what you call it my name's lynn if you've watched girlfriend starring tracy ellis ross my fave you know who i'm talking about lynn that babe that cannot commit to anything that is running away from adulthood and life yeah i don't want to end up like her so i will figure out this sometime soon but i just feel like like we're all always just figuring out life figuring out things so and it's just so weird but in God we trust and we trust that all things are working out for our good. Amen? Amen. Okay, so I forgot to say that that was an ME2 brush from Made by Mitchell. Now I'm going to go in with an A11 brush. You guys know by now. Makeup by Arrow X Morphe. Please. I think I'm going to go in with a shade here, Divinity. And I'm taking this like right above here. Um, just to really blend that eyeshadow in better. We're going to quickly cut the crease. Makeup by Errol X Morphe A18 brush. I love this brush. And I'm using the Jouer High Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Rich Ginger. I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hands. And we're gonna use that to cut the grease. Try to get the grease. I'm gonna try and make it identical, all right? What are your fears in life? That's a little too deep. I feel like I fear not living in accordance with like God's will, like, and missing my purpose. I've spoken about this before. Missing my mark like and not living a life that is fulfilling and just being idle and then looking back and being like oh my gosh i could have done something with my life i should have done this or just like with regret like living with regret i just like wasting my life and the time that i have on this earth today i was reading ecclesiastes <sighs> and everything is meaningless chasing after the wind constantly repeats that there's a couple times where the verse does reiterate that you are to enjoy life and you know because that is your lot that is your portion so after all your labor and your toil and all these things it is your lot to enjoy life and i feel like i just want to live life and experience life as much as i want to fulfill 
my purpose as well. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set this with, um, this is my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush for this finish powder in shade number two, medium, like a packing brush. This is the V202 brush. And I'm just gonna use that to really set that down. Um, I just went back in with that Jordana Tisha palette. I went in with the shade Nova, which is a black shade. And then I used this Glisten Cosmetics number one brush. I'm gonna go in with that same brush, so just wipes it off a bit. Um, it's just like a very, very thin liner brush. I'm gonna go in with my Inglot gel liner. I basically use the eyeshadow to trace out where I wanna put the Inglot gel liner. And I'm gonna go in with this on top because I feel like leaving it like this, it just doesn't look as vivid as I want it to look. This is what we look like. That is that. Now I'm going in with this Fenty Beauty Mascara. This is the forefront of mascara. I know that they have a new one, but I'm not like a big, big mascara babe. It's just like... Because I always wear lashes, so it doesn't really matter to me. So I've got these really cute lily lashes in the style Rome. Thank you so much for sending me these other lily lashes. Yeah, I don't cut my lashes. If there's any excess lash band where there's actually um, no lashes attached, I'll cut that. I'm gonna curl them real quick. I always curl my lashes, by the way, and I curl them as close to the lash band as possible and just push down a couple of times, like so. And my brush, I love. What I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna get some black eyeshadow and put some here, just like so. How gorgeous. Mm. I just applied my shirt to a Brie Airbrush Force Finish Powder in the shade number two, medium. Makeup by Mario F3 brush. I'm literally concentrating this right here. Like so. And then I also sprayed a little bit more of this. I haven't used this combo in a while, or trio rather. This is the Morphe Caramel Nude Trio. Lip liner in the shade Trendsetter. Apparently this is discontinued. I don't know. And then you also have this gloss in the shade Chill and this lipstick in the shade Boo. Just got in with Trendsetter on my lips. Sharpen your lip liner because it honestly makes the world of a difference. We're going in with Boo. This is like a peachy nude. Like so. The lip gloss in the shade Chill. I feel like I want it to be pinkier. So I think I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown. This crushed oil infused lip gloss in the shade Sweet Talk. I did quickly go in and add the Fenty BT OG Gloss Bomb in the shade Hot Chocolate around the parameters of my lips. And I did add some Beauty Marks um, with black eyeshadow because I couldn't reach my liner. Final look. I think it's really pretty and cute. I don't really know how to feel about the eyes. I'm not like in love with them, but I think it's cute. I really like how my makeup turned out. I really feel like this is the better shade. The difference between the two is actually very slim. This is 20N and this is 19C. Hope you guys can see that properly. Just a little difference between the two, but this is still significantly lighter. I feel like the 19C with my full face definitely matches me and looks better. I don't feel like it looks dark. I don't feel like it's pulling very cool on my skin. The 19C, I can only assume the C stands for cool because it normally does, but it doesn't look cool on my skin. With the rest of my body and everything, everything just looks really nice and cohesive. But that's my favorite word, I always say it, but people were talking about inconsistencies amongst the formula of the Makeup by Mario um, foundations. Now I must say, if you look at them, this one has significantly more reflex, the reflex that people were talking about. Um, this does have some, but it's mostly at the bottom that you can see it. It's not frequent throughout the actual bottle as it is in this one. However, the finish is the same. Yes, yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Don't forget to follow me on the rest of my socials so that you do not miss out on any of the content that I'm posting elsewhere. I that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. See you in the next one. But until then, take care. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>